YouTube. It's the Point Crew. We back, you know, for another week. Uh, for all of those comic book fans, I know y'all. There's some people sad, some people upset. You know, some people don't give a shit. Some people even might even be happy. Some people are happy. Fuck them. Fuck them. <laughs> if you're happy about this, then I just, I just can't agree with you because today, or rather this week, uh, Jeff Johns just left Green Lantern. You know, we had Green Lantern 20 come out recently, and uh, it was the capstone to a run that lasted about, what, seven years? The better part of a decade. I yeah, that. from 2005 to 2013. Yeah. And uh, what did you think of it? It was... Like, first, the just t issue 20. The issue, yeah. It was, quite frankly, one of his best issues I've seen in a, in a good while. Like, the, fit, the new 52 run that he had... Had its ups and downs. Yeah, I think. it had its ups and ups and downs. He had to run through a lot, especially with that new with the new Green Lantern. But he capped it off really well, and he needed a little extra for the book, but it really worked. And I really am glad to see that he went off on a big note. You know, what I thought was weird how Grant Morrison he got like in the last issue. Yeah, he just like kept throwing shit that you've never seen at you. Like, I mean, obviously spoilers. So uh, if you haven't read it, go read it and then come back and watch this. But he just kept throwing so many big ideas at you, like, oh, Sinestro is Parallax now, Black Lantern, Hal Jordan, uh, all the different Guardians, they learn to feel again. He just kept throwing them, boom, 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 boom. I love that. I was like, yeah, make me want to read this again and again. Yeah. Don't just make it like, oh, I read it, I'm done now. No, 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 he just made it so that it's like tons of like reread value. And even though, like, like we said, the run had its ups and downs, at the very least, he made it so that it, it had a nice capstone so that we finally could just like be like, yeah, this is a good run to look back on. It was weird because he, not in a good way, just because of the fact that you had something where it was going streamlined, like pretty much a good story before, uh, for the whole time. But then he just went to these levels where it almost became like whatever happened to the Man of Tomorrow levels. And it gave it its own little, like its own epilogue. And it worked though. It felt like, kind of like, okay, I'm done. Yeah. Like, Green Lantern, for me, is done. And if you just read my Green Lantern, you don't have to read Green Lantern ever again. This is the begin. That was the beginning. This is the end. And that's how exactly it felt. It felt like it was his story that was ending. Okay, so I know that we're doing, like, they got, like, new writers, but I, I feel like they need somebody with the same level of vision right. that Jeff Johns had. Like, he stayed on that book longer than... The only other guy that can compare is Jeff, I mean, is uh, Brian Michael Bendis' is Avengers run. Everybody else. That's his counterpart, to say the least. Yeah. yeah. So it's just like, I don't know. They need somebody that just, like, has the next, not only, like, the next year in mind, but the next two, three, five years in mind. And I don't know if DC has that, especially when they, somebody signed on to write, what was it, Green Lantern Corps? Yeah. And immediately was like, nope, I'm out. I'm well, out. We're giving it to somebody else. We'll see. DC's a... Uh, completely different monster from what it was in 2005. They were struggling, let's be honest. And Green Lantern was, you know, on that's what they were struggling. Yeah, well, that's a whole different story. But because of this, maybe we'll get like some low, lower tier uh, rider to come out of nowhere, and he'll have good ideas for it. We'll just have to see. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping it's, it's like. Kind of like how Mark Wade wrote The Flash for like fucking ever. Yeah. And then he left and a guy that nobody knew called Jeff Johns picked up the book <laughs> and suddenly made it just as popular as Mark Wade's run. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that something like that will happen, but I don't know. The only way I'll be able to tell for sure is in um, June when the next issue comes out and yeah. I read to see if they have any potential. Well, that's all we got for today, guys. As always, like and subscribe and uh, we'll catch y'all next time. Peace.